Hey, my friends, how you doing? Uh, my good friend Mivia sent me a link to Fujikaza with something I did not know existed, Tiny Desk. Uh, I know about it here in the U.S. It comes out of New York, and I actually got a copyright strike from them. I downloaded a Taylor Swift one, uploaded it, uh, just to see if it would be blocked, because I didn't want to bother you know, reacting to it if it was going to get blocked. Uh, anyway, I was just about to delete it, and they gave me a copyright strike. However, I did get rid of that. So hopefully, Tiny Desk concerts in Japan are not going to do that. But we've got to do this. And hopefully there'll be more. I think they do usually, you know, three, four, five, six songs. Uh, depends on the artist. So anyway, let's jump in. <laughs> It's it's just natural, you know what I mean? There's no uh, no frills here, no auto tune or pitch correction. He doesn't use that anyway. But I'm just saying, I love this setting, and I also love uh, the Tiny Desk Japan better, like the background. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the one in New York, but oh my word, there's so much stuff that you just it's really distracting. All right, so the music, awesomeness, right? It's so. I don't know, it just kind of washes over you like warm water, makes you feel good. Um, this guy, I mean, he's just a master uh, at doing that to me. He's just so good. Anyway, I love when it comes in, a little bit of drums, a little bit of keyboard, and he's always, always, always has a, a just a massive, super cool bass line. This stuff, guys, is priceless to me. New stuff like this, and Mevious always shows me like creepy nuts. I love those guys. Super cool. I got to do more of them too. But he always like, well, like if I miss a 1OK rock song, or as I should say, as Mevis asked me to pronounce it, 1 o'clock, um, he will send me a link. He'll email me, email me a link. So guys, if you know something I missed uh, from an artist that you want, just uh, shoot me an email and I'll, I'll get to it and I'll see it there probably sooner than the comments. So anyway, what do you guys think of this Tiny Desk stuff? Uh, yes? No? I think it's great because it just, I don't know. Like I say, it's just like raw talent here. It's not frills going through amps. And, you know, talking about distracting, I'm looking down. If you look down at the right side of the screen, uh, it looks like there's like a oversized, um, like, you know, 
funny uh, cassette tape there because that's definitely not full size, but it's super cool. I noticed all that stuff. I know. What can I say, right? But anyway, guys, let's get back to this. This is just, this is epic, amazing stuff. background singers boy do they bring that to life right again guys it's just no frills here it's not going through a fancy mixer um they're not putting effects on anything everything here is just sheer raw talent uh and he surrounds himself with such talented people and he's so gracious and he's so kind uh to everybody i mean he's just an incredible person I don't know anybody that could not like, I mean, I, I can't believe anybody would not like him. He's just, man, it's hard to believe for me sometimes, guys, when I think about all these artists uh, that I didn't know before I started reacting or even doing um, artists from Japan, you know, I didn't have any idea they'd become like such a big part of my life uh, and I would love them so much, but it's just, man, I sit here listening to this. The lyrics are awesome. Misusing the word of love. Yes, people do it all the time. Uh, you don't say it if you don't mean it. Uh, that's my philosophy anyway. Uh, I wouldn't say it to somebody if I didn't mean it. You know, I don't, you don't want to hurt somebody, right? Uh, and, you know, Fuji, Fuji Kazi says, hey man, you know, translate it and, you know, how you want. I know I talked about how I don't really go into the meaning of songs because people always say that's not what it means. Uh, so I keep that to myself, um, but I really love this stuff, guys. I really, really, really hope there's more of these. Mm, I hope it doesn't get blocked. That's my biggest concern right now is that it'll get blocked in Japan or something, but we'll see.
Wow. Awesome stuff, guys. You know, there are so many artists that I love uh, that really use uh, the piano, right? I got like this. Hang on. So, I really love him. He's He kind of fits in that genre for me, even though it's not the same era, but like uh, Joe Jackson. Do you guys remember him? That song, Stepping Out. Um, or Billy Joel, stuff like that. He fits into that, only I think he's more unique. Uh, and I think he's he's better, in my opinion. Uh, he it, More modern, obviously, you know. But I still love all those artists. Billy Joel, you know, all the great ones like that. Joe Jackson, Elton John. I just think, um, you know, they don't put out the music that they used to, really, right? Uh, and he does. So I think it's uh, they're just as relevant uh, in today. Uh, they'll always be relevant, but this man right here, this guy is a legend too, and he deserves every bit of that. All right, thank you again, Mebius, for this. This was awesome. Um, super cool. I'm going to have to check out more. All right, guys, have a good one.